This movie tells a story about a woman named Fern, played by Frances McDormand, who goes on a journey around the country after losing nearly everything in the 2008 recession. Her town literally no longer exists as the zip code was removed. This movie follows her as she meets other nomads and discusses their lives with them, what brought them to this point, and just what their story is. First of all, this movie is only an hour and 48 minutes but it felt so much longer. It dragged on, was really boring and very depressing. It's really a struggle to pay attention to. While it's clear that this movie is meant to take viewers on a journey along with Fern, too much of it felt really flat. It's not enjoyable at all. It was just too slow, depressing and boring to get sucked in. It's very hard not getting distracted while watching it. The film doesn't pack the punch or contain the fine grain detail of Jessica Bruder's book. The book was all about surviving. The much praised film version is all about grieving and accepting death. The film vibrates with moral seriousness, but it misses all the best qualities of the book, where one learns about the ingenuity of the houseless as much as their plight. Although it is apparently intended to glorify the life of dropping out and traveling around the country alone, it trivializes the difficulties that must be inherent in journeying over hill and dale alone in a small camper. The book noted the class differences between wealthy people traveling in enormous cars and those who might be living out of minivans. It was as clear a social division as you'd see in a high school lunchroom. The film's incidents here are a lot more colorless. The movie uses many non-professional actors who come up to Fern and tell their stories, making her a sounding board. The problem is that the spectrum of emotions of these characters is not really part of this story. Even though the cast includes real nomads playing themselves, there is not one uplifting or humorous moment in the entire film. That is a mark of how far determined the movie is keeping its mood. The movie is exhaustingly polite and remote. It doesn't understand the appeal of a hobo fantasy which could have put some pleasure and some salt into the movie. The movie seems most attracted to the settled moments including a Thanksgiving meal of dull and preposterous richness. The last third of the movie gets frustrating. After the fan breaks down, Fern has no other options and must stay with her sister. As a complete picture, the movie is largely lacking, even with a hint of a love story creeping up toward the finale. There just is not enough going on, made more disappointing when no unforgettably potent or even moderately sentimental sequences arise. Overall, this is not worth your time, unless you need some sleep, then go watch this movie.